Hello everybody, this is Stringer Gamer back to kick off the semi-final round. Closer to that final, only two out of four of these combatants will get there, and we're going to find out which two will get to in that final. So, in the first match, we are going to see a clash of Bronthakins between Master Shin and Marn, and then the two rogues going at it in Dragon Destroyer and Dino Hunter. Look, I didn't... Honestly, I didn't expect the final four to be these four. I mean, maybe one of them could have had a really good run, but, like, all of them? It's been, it's been a really insane tournament. A lot of the heavyweights, in particular, have really struggled. And Dino Hunter as well. You know, they've been in, like, all my tournaments, but they've never got this far. They've never seemed to do that well. Right, let's go with our first semi-final matchup, shall we? Well, what does this semi-final have in store for us? Ooh, interesting. Good news if you were well. Well, it's a toss-up, really, because they both got Bronthakins. So both will have terrain disadvantage. Right, for Mastrician in the red corner, we have got Bronthakins. Mastrician, well, enjoying a nice winning run since losing in, the fir in their first match of the tournament. Backing up the Bronte, we got Eoraptor. Eoraptor's definitely served its purpose. You know, it's always a risk having swapping into Eoraptor so early, but it seems to have worked for Maastricht. Of course, you've got to get the swap, haven't you? So, yeah. Got to watch out for that plasma anchor there, Mahan. Right, speak of the devil. In the blue corner for Mahan, we got a T-Rex. Mahan also enjoying a strong tournament. Got some re has got some really good wins in this tournament against the champs Diddy Darius and against our host Stranger Gamer. And I think they beat Zeno in a group stage as well, so yeah. Mark's got some really good victories under their belt. Backing up the T-Rex, we got Bronthakins. Uh, we haven't seen too much of Bronthakins from Marn. I think Maastrician has been more reliant on Bronthakins than Marn has. Right, first things first, let's give the T-Rex its customary firebomb. Okay. Okay, so Mars swaps when HP is below half. Maastrician in the yellow. Ooh, support the facts. Good start for Marn. Right, so that means that the T-Rex will be going for the tail. Ooh, he gets it as well. Promising start this far, and actually, it's time to swap out the Bronthakins. Ooh, that's a tie. Push. The Bronthakins gets the swap. So that Eoraptor will come in. Might not be the best swap in the world though. Because when the Bronthakin comes back in, it is going to get hit with a terrain disadvantage if the T-Rex is still alive. If the T-Rex is dead or tagged out into Mars Bronthakins, then terrain disadvantage won't apply. Because they're both water dinosaurs. And speaking of swapping, it is time to swap out the T-Rex. Mm. Clever from Maastricht in here. He knows better than to go for the crit. He knows better than to go for rock. And in fact, Man is going to fail the swap as well. Could that be a moment? Oop, that's a tie. You know what that means? It's Plasma Anchor time. I feel like Maastricht might have turned the screw in this match. The T-Rex is going down, Bronthakins will come in, but because it has terrain disadvantage, Eoraptor will get the next hit. We won't count Marn out yet, because Bronthakins, it has the spectral armour. It can still one-shot the other Bronthakins. You know, Eoraptor is fragile, 
Oh, we're gonna find out how fragile it is. That's a hydro cutter. Hydro cutter was crucial for man in the quarters against Stranger Gamer. Oh, look at that. The recovery coming in as well. Man, not out of this yet. And he stops the swap. Ooh, that could be crucial. Stopping that swap. Stopping the Oracta from escaping. And now, it is the mirror match. Brontekins on Brontekins. Ooh, and even the bar's at the same level as well. <laughs> it's going to be really tight. Or not. Master Shin landing a crit, taking the lead. Oh, it's like a it's like official tournaments, just mirror matching Brontekins. But which one has the edge? Oh, the tie! Oh, Mastrishia gets the hit. Gonna get the spectral armor. Of course, at this point it doesn't really matter because. Oh, hang on! Man has won it. No, Mastrishia has won it. An aqua javelin out of nowhere to put Master Shin through to the final. And Man bowing out at the semis. But we will see them again because they'll feature in the third in the bronze medal match. But it is Master Shin marching on this time into the final. Wow, it was a really back and forth match, but that aqua javelin was crucial. Let's find out how crucial it would have been. Okay, no, Ma Master Shin was going to win anyway. <laughs> now then, time to find out who Master Shin will be facing in the final. Well, what does this semi-final have in store for us? Ooh, not a good feel if you're Dragon Destroyer. But if you're Dino Hunter, you're very happy with this field. Right in the red corner for Dragon Destroyer, we got Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. Not only will he have to deal with type disadvantage, but you'll have to deal with the terrain advantage the Dino Hunter will get. Backing up the Alpha rope, you got Super Triceratops. But I will say, you don't, you don't win every match in this tournament without facing some form of adversity. Can Dragon Destroyer make it 9 out of 9? Right in the blue corner, for Dino Hunter, we got Spinosaurus, Dino Hunter. Kind of fortunate to be here, to be honest. This, with that incredible smash and grab victory against Cheer Knights in the quarterfinals to earn their place here. Backing up the Spinosaurus, we got Allosaurus Atrox. Ooh, you have to say, on this field, despite Dragon Destroyer winning 8 out of 8, you fancy Dino Hunter. You might fancy Dino Hunter here. Well, if you're Maastrician, you probably want Dino Hunter to go through on the basis that they beat Dino Hunter in the group stage and relatively comfortably. But I think whoever goes through, a Maastrician will fancy themselves. Right, first things first. We'll get terrain advantage over with. Oh, that's a big hit from Dino Hunter. A crit block the come, which guarantees Dino Hunter will at least get off some damage with the tie, at the very least. Or he could get a crit and probably kill the Alpha Acro. Oh, you can't go paper. Oh, you gotta go scissors. That's a big crit coming. It's heroic type as well. Oh, oh, hello. Atrox getting in on the act. What a start from Dino Hunter. No death fire. Has Dragon Destroyer's fortunes ran out? Ooh, maybe not does get the swap. Could be crucial, because it could be down to Alo Alpha Acro against Alo Atrox. Could be a crucial swap that could be. And the Triceratops has type advantage over Spinosaurus as well. Has the Awaken mode, that could be a big swap from Dragon Destroyer. Ooh, got the Awaken mode coming up as well. Dragon Destroyer turning this match around. Oh, hello, a support effect. Wow, we really have turned this around. 
drop the big crucial here. Dragon Destroyer can stop this spot. That'll be a big momentum swing in this match. Oh, it's a tie. Is it lethal for Spider? Oof. Clinging on there. Oh, he gets the hit. A massive moment. And all of a sudden, Dragon Destroyer in the driving seat. That could be a big moment there. The Spinosaurus going down. The Atrox having to come in. Now all this Triceratops really needs to do is just stall out the Atrox. So the Alpha Acro heals up. And actually it's time to swap into Alpha Acro. So, yeah. Oh, he gets the swap! Is this going to be 9 out of 9 for Dragon Destroyer? Well, Dino had the knees to get hits on the board. And fast! Oh, is this, is this the end for Dino Hunter? Oh, is it? Is it? Ooh, oh, oh, it's a crit! Ow, 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 Oh my, if Dino Hunter snatches this. That would be even more incredible than the bloody quarterfinal. Okay, yeah, he's not snatching this. Or is he? Well, we thought Dragon Destroyer had it won, but Dino Hunter's got other ideas. Okay, no. <laughs> You can breathe a huge, you can breathe a sigh of relief, Dragon Destroyer. No smash and grab this time for Dino Hunter. The dream ends at the semis. And it is Dragon Destroyer going through, making it 9 out of 9. Oof, now that was a semi-final. Really good semi-finals. So yeah, it is Maastrician going up against Dragon Destroyer in the final. Right, let's have a look at our final, shall we? Well, there it is, folks. There is our final two. We have Maastrician going up against Dragon Destroyer. Maastrician, eight wins on the spin since losing in the group stage. Dragon Destroyer, yet to be beaten in this tournament. Nine out of nine. Both of these two are on in tre tremendous winning runs. And in fact, I think if Dragon Destroyer does win, that will set the record for the longest win streak in my tournament, which is currently held by Ultima Dino King on 9. So, wow, what a debut for Dragon Destroyer. Matching the winning streak record already. The one that matters most is the final. Can they win it? Well, one thing for certain, a debutant is going to win a tournament for the first time ever. Well, except for the, like the very first tournament where everyone was debuting. <laughs> I think I lean towards Maastrician on the basis of the Brontekins. I think the Brontekins is a big factor. And they'll have type advantage over the Alpha Acro. But Dragon Destroyer has proven they can win under adversity. So this is going to be a really intriguing final. It's going to be tight. It's going to be really tight. Tough to call. But I do think Maastrician is the slight favourite. So yeah, that is it. And let's not forget uh, Marn and Dino Hunter as well. They will have a bronze medal match to decide who finishes third. But honestly, respectable for both of them to get in the top four. So yeah, even the bronze medal match will be a tasty encounter. But yeah, that is it for the semi-final round. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and until the finale, ta-ta!